Syracuse lacrosse took over MetLife Stadium for the Big City Classic today, and former SU football player Justin Pugh was on hand. Pugh, the first-round pick for the New York Giants, says he's excited to call MetLife Stadium his new home. So you got, your, uh, you got that call pretty early on. What is, talk about what it was like to be on the phone. Obviously, this is video circulating <laughs> of everyone kind of jumping on you. What was that moment like? Yeah, I mean, the, the whole thing was I didn't really want a lot of media there. I was going to be with my, my direct family, my best friends, and then... Um, as soon as I got that call, it, it was crazy. My buddy actually, he worked for Bloomsburg Football, so he had a camera there. He knew what to do. He knew how to get it on YouTube. So as soon as that call came, he wanted to document it and kind of, you know, be able to relive that moment. And um, got the call from Coach Coffin. First thing he said, hey, we're taking you in this next pick. And then uh, he's like, hey, it's time to burn on your Eagle stuff. So that's all that, all that Eagle stuff is down in my house right now. And uh, he's like, hey, welcome to the New York Giants. So I just hung up the phone and then it, it, all, the, all the chaos. Um, commenced, I guess you could say. All my buddies jumped on me. It was a great experience. I mean, happiest day of my life. Justin, I heard an interview with you on Friday. You said you hadn't talked to Ryan yet. Now he's drafted by the Giants. What did you uh, say to him after he was drafted? I just shot him a text. I was like, hey, man, I guess we'll be roommates uh, up here when we get to rookie minicamp. Uh, I'm excited to work with you. He's a great quarterback. I mean, I did a bunch of interviews after saying, I mean, whatever team gets him is going to be real lucky to have him. And so now we have him. So now I feel pretty lucky. So uh, he texted me back. He's like, hey, let's go, man. Let's do this. And I know he's got something to prove now. What was it like watching the stadium today, knowing that this is now your, your home field? <laughs> I mean, it was crazy looking up and seeing I'm mean, 85,000 seats that this thing holds and seeing all the fans out there. I got to meet a few Giants fans. Um, just just now when I was down the field, it, it was crazy. I just had a big smile on my face uh, ever since I heard my name called. And this coming in here, man, it, it's, it's a crazy experience. What do you think is one of the best parts about uh, being a part of the Giants organization now? I mean, obviously, the, the stability of the organization. Um, they have a great organization uh, top to bottom. Uh, year in and year out, they go to the playoffs. That's a great thing. You have a league quarterback in Eli Manning. Um, and then, obviously, you're playing in New York City, which is an awesome fan base. And when you're doing well, I know that. I know that. So I'm excited to go out there and, and just start playing football. When you and Coughlin talk about on the phone there, you, see, you said a lot of yes, sir. There's a lot of yes, sir. There's a couple of Syracuse references. I was like, yeah, we'll just we'll just keep it to Syracuse and the New York Giants. Uh, and he was just like, we're excited to have you. He kind of told me why they, why they picked me. They like my versatility. I um, like what I can do on the field. I knew I was a smart guy. I knew I wouldn't have any problems with me. So it was something that uh, I was just I was just smiling. A couple of yes sirs, and I, I know I, I, everyone was great for me to get off the phone so they could just jump on me. Shamarco drafted by the Steelers. Did you talk to him at all, too? I talked to Shamarco after I was drafted. I was just saying, hey, man, you're next. I love him. He's a good guy. He's a great kid. Um, I know he's going to do great for the Steelers. I'm, I'm happy to talk. I mean, I'll, I'll probably shoot him a text. I shot him a text once he got drafted, but I know he's been so busy. I'll probably talk to him, Ryan, all the guys uh, soon. The first first round pick out of SU since Don McNabb, what, what does that mean to you? I mean, Chan or offensive, you mean? Offensive guy, because yeah, Chandler yeah, was last yeah. year. Um, that's kind of crazy I didn't, I didn't, to think about it like that. But I mean, um, hopefully there'll be more coming. I mean, that's all I can say. It's, it's an honor to do that and represent the school, represent the community. Um, it's been the best four years of my life, but hopefully there'll be more guys coming every year now. You talked to Chandler? I know you guys had the. the yeah, yeah, I, I talked to Chandler. We had actually made a pack when we were like sophomores out. We were both going to the first round, so he held up his end of the bargain. Uh, I just came through a couple days ago. And I just I, I I hit him up. I was like, hey, wait, it's 19 two picks or, or two picks before 21. <laughs> this is like you know we go back and forth. So you know I got a he had a great rookie season. So hopefully I can I can do the same following his footsteps. What did you do last night to celebrate? Uh, we just had a little a little party at my brother's house. Everyone came over, but uh, I was be I probably left by like 10 o'clock to um, go home and just lay down. Man, it's been it's been a, a tiring week just waiting it out. I finally got a good night's sleep after I got drafted. Did you think back to the USC game that was in this building, and is it kind of is it nice to be able to to not have that be your last game in Midland? Oh yeah, just cause I didn't play in the game, so I was on the sidelines. It was weird. I mean, I just did the same thing down there watching them. I'm like, I gotta finally play on this field when uh, when the time comes, and it's great. It's only an hour away from home. I'll be able to. My parents will be able to come to all the games. The Pew Crew is now, you know, Giants fans. So. Um, it's going to be great, that, that first game, that first preseason game, when I get to actually play on the field that I've been waiting to play for. for a, it'll be probably be a year at that point. What's the next steps for you? Uh, I'm probably going to head back up to Syracuse for a couple of weeks. We go to mini camp on May 10th, so I'll probably do that. And then just, you know, just stay in shape and work out with Coach Hicks. Justin, how do you feel about moving in interior on the offensive line? Right? Well, I don't know exactly. I might be playing tackle. I might be playing guard. They haven't really specified yet where I'll be at. So I'm really just going to come in and, and, and show them I can play all five offensive line positions. And, uh, you know, just contribute to the line. They have a lot of veterans on the offensive line, so I want to learn from them and then, uh, you know, try to take that next step and become a starter. Were you a little insulted when ESPN put up guard, Justin Pugh 
guard? No, no. I mean, because I mean, you're playing offensive line in the NFL, man. It's a pretty good accomplishment in itself. I'm not really worried if it's a G or a T next to my name. Uh, it could be a C for all I care. They want me to play wide receiver. I'll do that. But um, it's just nice. It's just nice to um, you know get here. But that, but you gotta get over the fact that I got drafted. I mean, I got drafted. It's done with. I want to go to work now. I want to go here and win. I want to win games and uh, win the big one in the end. Besides Eli, is there anyone you're really excited to meet um, down there? In, in the the offensive line group. I mean, it's the guys I'm going to be spending most of my time with, so I want to get in. I talked to Dave Dale. He shot me a text saying congratulations, and Will Beatty uh, tweeted out to me. So uh, I just want to get in there and meet the guys that can be in my room and I'll be working with. All right, thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks,